I would have to say that the most shocking thing about those two kill chains you just watched is that they occurred about a minute and a half from each other. What's going on guys? Great Disciple back with another gameplay. Now, this match that you're watching in the background on Newtown took place on one of my streams, but I didn't rip it directly from the stream. I actually went back into theater to pull this one out. And there was a couple of reasons. The first one was I wanted to get it in 60 FPS, so I wanted it to look a lot smoother. Um, and then I didn't want my commentary over it. But this game, this game was absolutely amazing. And it's another one of those, oh, what could have been. Because everything in the first half just went perfectly. I got a kill chain. And in this first kill chain, I ended up going on a brutal streak. I think it was a 26 gun streak. And it took me 1 minute and 21 seconds. A minute and 21 seconds to go on this brutal. And I wasn't trying for it. It just kind of happened. Four kills off of a nuclear. If a guy hadn't spawned behind me and shot me in the back, I would have dropped a nuclear in probably under a minute and a half. Now, my fastest nuclear to date in this game is a minute and 48 seconds, which I did on the fringe. So I thought this was going to be something special. And then right after I died on that streak, I run back into the enemy spawn and drop another kill chain. It was just amazing. I think I finished the first half um, with over 70 kills. I'm over 7,700 score, and I'm thinking, oh man, we're, I'm going to break 150 kills in this game. But we start the second half, and there was only two guys remaining on the enemy team, and then one of them quickly left, and there was one, and then... You know, slowly Treyarch started adding people in, but they would just leave as soon as they joined. And so I finished the game with like 87 kills. It was a, a bit of a downer, but the first half is absolutely amazing because everything just went well. Now, I know a lot of you guys are probably wondering about what I got on this KN44. Let me just tell you real quick. I run the ELO site. Sometimes I'll do the BOA3. It just kind of depends on what mood I'm in. Uh, stock, fast max, and quick draw. I run a primary gunfighter one and put quick draw on it. Now this is specifically for Newtown. Um, and then as for perks, it's ghost, scavenger, and dead silence. Unless I'm in the mood, I may change up that third tier perk. Maybe put on awareness or tack mask or gung ho. Sometimes I put gung ho on this class just because I move so much. And then score streak loadout. You guys know my score streak loadout. So uh, it was a great game, and man, it could have been so good, so good. Now two games before this, I had played on fringe. And I dropped 143 kills. It was a 150 kill fail, man. I, I I thought I had killed this guy with a headshot. And I'm going to bring you this gameplay because it was amazing. This It was also on the stream where I got this one. And if I, I don't know if you guys watched that stream, but it's right at the front, both of these gameplays. You've got to go back and watch it because it was amazing. I mean, I'm sitting here talking. And in that gameplay on Fringe, I think I was running the Wraith, Raps, and GI unit. And <laughs> I just went off with the Pharaoh. It was great, man. So I am starting to like the KN44 a lot more in hardcore. And let me tell you why. I don't know if there was a silence or a secret nerf to the Razorback, but I'm getting a lot more hit markers. Now, it could be my hit detection based on lag comp, but um, I'm getting a lot more hit markers and I'm not enjoying it as much. So I, I put on the KN44, the Man of War, or the Dingo, and I don't really have that frustration anymore. Now, here's the issue. The Dingo, I love the Dingo. You guys know I do, but it's the side-to-side -side movement. It doesn't, it's not as conducive to the way that I want to play the game. So sometimes I go to the Man of War, but, you know, the, the fire rate on the Man of War gets frustrating over time. So the KN44 just kind of fits right in that little spot, and... What I love about the KN44 on Newtown is I rarely ever get a hit marker. Rarely. In most of the engagements, I know people think in Newtown it's all, you know, face to face, you know, short distance gunfights, but it's really not. It's usually mid range gunfights on Newtown because they've actually expanded the map. And with the KN44, I really don't get that many hit markers. So it's almost becoming my go to weapon on Newtown these days. Now, I also have one quick question for you guys. I know the video is coming to an end. Can y'all tell anything different about the gameplay? I was messing around with the saturation effect on the colors. And here's why. You know, when I did the Chaos X Silencer Mothership Challenge, you know, I submitted the gameplay to him and he ripped it out of, of my, my video and then he saturated it with colors and I really liked the way that it looked and I was like, I bet you I can do that. So I started messing with some of the effects. Now there's so many different ways that you can mess with saturation and tint and all these different things you can do so I'm just curious what do you guys think of the color in the background and if you can't tell the difference click on one of my older videos from like a week or two back 
and then look at this one and you should be able to see a substantial difference. I notice a lot of the bigger YouTubers mess around with saturation. I'm just trying to get my settings down before Infinity Ward comes out with their new game. It's kind of like one of the reasons why I've been working so much on getting this FPS, the 60 FPS down. So please let me know what you think about that. I'm, I'm trying to get those settings right. As always, if you like the video, hit that thumbs up button because those two kill chains were insane. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about the saturation and subscribe for more because I know that you want to. Bye.